Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today I want to take and show you everyone a very handy little trick to make your own mild steel spring. Now, this rod here is a piece of, I believe it is eighth inch. I believe so, yep. So this is a piece of eighth inch diameter 1018 and this here is an inch and a quarter pipe with a 3 16 slot cut in it. Now, this is our tool portion of making our mild steel spring. This is going to be a coil spring. And essentially, there's a lot of really good videos out there uh, where guys, you know, make these kind of tools and, you know, do, well, they've got all the math and research, and I've heard there's charts and stuff. With this, I believe this old Tony has done a video on making springs, but he has a lathe and a and a actual spring making tool concept here. I'm going to adjust you guys here for a second, just so you can see what's going on here. So, but this is just kind of a simple way you can do it at home without the process of a lathe. So. What we're going to do is we're actually going, since this is just mild steel, we are actually going to wrap this cold. So you just take and have to bend it around. Now this will work for small springs, small little mechanical springs. That's what it's mainly good for. And I'll have to, since the camera's in the way, I'll have to keep adjusting this pipe. But essentially you just roll this thing right around. You have to have the notch in it so this way you can capture the end of the spring. But after you have that portion down, you can just keep rolling this thing right on up. Now I'll roll it all the way back around so I can really get another good wrap on it. Like I said, if the camera wasn't in the way, I would have enough space and clearance that I could just, you know, go to town on this thing. But the trick to it is just make sure your wraps are good and tight. If you're making this tension spring like I am here, if you are making a if you are making a compression spring, which means the spring compresses, you just make your wraps a little further apart. If you're making an extension spring, you make it where your wraps are tight together. And then, you know, the action is pulled apart, so to speak. So just keep doing this right on around. Now be aware, this takes a lot of linear feet of material. So you want to do this in an area where you got quite a bit of space uh, because you'll need it. This rod here that I started with was about four foot long. And as you can see, I've only got two wraps so far. Well, two and a half wraps. There we go. Just trying to get this where you guys can still see what I'm doing. But yeah, pretty much. You just wrap this around, keep your wraps nice, consistent, and even. I won't get into all the stuff like, you know, pitch of the wraps and how many wraps and what it does. This is just meant to be a simple explanation of how you can make a mild steel spring. Now, since you're stretching, the purpose behind this, since you're stretching the material cold around this mandrel, what's happening is that grain structure does not want to be full transformed, so it's wanting to try to go back to its original state, and then that's what makes this an effective spring. So now we can just wrap it all around. Now it's going to take a little bit of work, but you can see I'm doing it by hand. Um, and I'm just going to try to get about the same amount of material there. There we go. And off the die it goes. So now you can take this portion and you can curl it into a hook and you can create an extension spring, heavy duty, or you can actually put it in somewhere. You can use it for like mouse traps or, you know, heavier duty traps of some sort because it does spring quite a bit. Can't really show it on camera the greatest there. 
the other thing you can do with this is you can actually cut this off and you can finish finish out the end just straight for compression. Sorry, tongue tied. For a compression spring, you can just cut this off right back in here and then just grind that flat on both sides and you've got a compression spring then that way. And you know, this size, this is a great tool and method for anybody who is doing fabrication work of any sort. Um, maybe for power hammers, maybe hard to find springs, things like that. If you can't get them locally or they cost too much to ship you from Amazon. Um, so be looking out for this process and for, in future power hammer builds and tooling builds, because you know, this is a very handy way of making a spring as far as longevity, you know, I don't know yet. I haven't really went through the testing of it, but you know, this right here, the coiling of all these coils and it taking tension across the whole entire bar, I doubt it will break or find brittleness even in, in my lifetime. But that's just my thinking anyhow. So anyways, that's how you do it. You can just have a simple piece of pipe to the inside diameter that you want your spring to be. Cut a notch just slightly bigger in it than what the material thickness, the thickness of the spring you want it to be, and then calculate how many wraps you need to take and go around. And I believe, I believe the, the math on that is you take the diameter of the pipe plus the thickness of your material and you times that by pi. And then that gives you roughly uh, how much material you need to make one wrap. Then you take that and you just times it by the number of wraps you want in the piece. So, you know, if you, you know, you can figure that out. Figure out how many wraps it's going to take to the inch. You know, just do some simple math there, guys, and, and you guys can go from there. So anyways, Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it that thumbs down. Uh, either way, I greatly appreciate the feedback. God bless you all, and we'll catch you on the next one.